the Bowling Green Falcons look to bounce back after a tough lopsided loss at Ohio State in Week 1. This past weekend, the Falcons took on the North Dakota Fighting Hawks in Bowling Green's home opener. Both teams came in looking for their first win on the season. Bowling Green struck first when James Kanapke hit wide receiver Scott Miller for a 71-yard touchdown pass early in the first. The Falcons scored again after a quick 75-yard scoring drive ending with a Ronnie Moore touchdown run from three yards out. North Dakota battled back in the second quarter getting great field position and cashing in off two interceptions which trimmed the lead to 14-10. With under two minutes left in the half, Kanapke hit Miller once again, this time for a 51-yard touchdown to give the Falcons a 21-10 lead going into the break. North Dakota received the kickoff after the half and took full advantage. A 21-yard touchdown run and a 44-yard field goal by the Fighting Hawks put them within one point. Bowling Green responded with a 10-play 64-yard drive that saw Kanapke hit Miller for their third touchdown connection of the game. With Bowling Green up 27-20 and under three minutes left in the fourth quarter, North Dakota drove 65 yards on 10 plays, capped off with a 3-yard touchdown pass to put the Fighting Hawks within one, 27-26. North Dakota elected to go for the 2-point conversion and the win, but fell short as Bowling Green's Alfonso Mack tipped the pass in the corner of the end zone with 13 seconds left. Bowling Green is now 1-1 one one on the year and take on Middle Tennessee this Saturday. Reporting for BG24 News, I'm Garrett McKinney.